Welcome and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Kathleen Reddington with your Capital Markets Report. Today is Friday, August 22nd, 2008. U.S. private equity investor Lone Star is buying lender IKB, Germany's most prominent casualty of the subprime crisis. The sale by State Bank KFW closes an embarrassing and costly chapter for Europe's biggest country and most powerful economy. IKB nearly collapsed a year ago under the weight of $24 billion in investments linked to risky U.S. home loans. And staying with Capital Markets News, Continental AG said it has struck a deal with Schaeffler Group, which will buy a minority stake in the German auto automotive parts maker for 75 euros a share, up from a previous 7.12 euros a share. And Thompson Financial News reports that Schaeffler has committed itself to keeping its holding below 50 percent for at least four years. Continental CEO will be stepping down as per the end of August, and a successor will soon be appointed. And in more capital markets, Markets News German publisher Gruner and Jar is among a second round of bidders looking to acquire the trade magazine's unit of Anglo-Dutch publisher Reed Elsevier. According to Reuters, a Gruner and Jar spokesman said that the company is among others bidding in the second round and that it is a, a non-binding offer, although it declined to give details. The Hamburg-based publisher owned by a media group Bertelsmann has been steadily expanding its brands online such as Flagship, Weekly Stern and the women's magazine Brigitte to compensate for wa waning growth in the magazine market. And in other capital markets news, South Korea's state-run lender Korea Development Bank is looking to raise $4 billion by selling bonds in overseas markets. Next year, despite a global cre credit squeeze, trading markets reports that the lender has met about 80 percent of its target for overseas funding. However, a senior executive director at the global banking division told reporters that given the possible deterioration in global financial markets, the company plans to issue another $1 billion in bonds in the second half. And that rounds out today's Capital Markets Report. Thanks for joining us on EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click onto our Capital Markets channel online, read the full stories and the latest developments.